Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm gonna to be doing an updated bookshelf tour. This was actually a recommended video after I filmed in front of the bookshelves for like a past empties video, and I realized I did a bookshelf tour, I think it was about a year ago now, if not a little bit more, and it was just my books back when I lived at my old place. Um, so since Alvin and I have moved in together, our books have been squished together and we do have a lot of books. Um, so I'll show you through not just the books, but like also the little decorations that we kind of have all over. So I thought this would be a nice chill, you know, bookshelf tour. All right, so let's start on the right and then we'll go down and work our way over. Starting all the way on the top, Alvin has a uh, Batarang Batman thing. I don't really know what it is, um, but that's the top. <laughs> Down here we've got just a kind of a, a mishmash of all of our decorations and also I'll do the back of the bookshelves because there's these are thick enough that you can have books and decorations on one side and the other so I'll do the other ones once we get the other side um, but I've got like a little Easter egg with an M on it we've got a conch <laughs> it's an actual conch and then moving down I call this kind of like our anniversary shelf um, I've got some of my favorite poetry books we've got the spoons that we ate with on our first anniversary we've got um, the roses Alvin made for me for our book our first anniversary bouquet and then a couple of newer dried roses in there um, and then some more decorations and then down is the first shelf of books so I kind of had this as my currently reading or about to read shelf um, like over here on the side because I reread Julie and Julia because I really wanted to and then I reread Cleaving which was the sequel memoir book to that which was uh, yikes that's all I have to say <laughs> I also have um, French Women Don't Get Fat it's a similar book to the memoir recipe book called Japanese Women Don't Get Older Fat, but I really just wanted to get it for the recipes because I've never really done like French recipes. Um, so I've got that. This was a good book. It's called Voracious. It's about, um, again, <laughs> recipes, but specifically like recreating recipes from literature. Um, I've got Ivory Vikings. It's a history of chess pieces, but I haven't actually gotten to reading that one yet. I've got The Devil Wears Prada, one of my favorites. Great Gatsby, Memoirs of a Geisha, The Book Thief, love it. And a lot of these books, I used to work at a university bookstore, so I did buy a lot of like used books when they were used as textbooks. So quite a few of my books have those stickers still on there. I've got The Theater of War. I've got Murakami's After Dark, uh, Bodies Who's Buried, <laughs> The Curly Girl Method. Um, and then a couple of Alvin's books over here. I don't really know. Oh, Black Sad is really good. It's a uh, comic, I think it is. Yeah. Watch, watch me know absolutely nothing about any of the comics. That's how this is going to go. And he's got a lot of comics. So <laughs> um, that's all that we have on this shelf. Moving further down, this is kind of where all like the thick hardcover books ended up. So we've got um, Barack Obama's memoir, A Promised Land. Uh, this book I actually haven't read yet, but we went to a book event uh, before COVID where this author was doing a reading and I got the book and I got his autograph, but I haven't actually gotten to read the book yet, but it was fun. Um, I've got Daughters of the Samurai, A Girl's Guide, uh, Murakami Haruki's Killing Commandadori, which that I like that book a lot. I kind of wish I got in a paperback though. It's such a thick book, uh, but I like it. Um, this book, <laughs> Killing Monica, I literally just got for the title because I'm morbid. Um, Alexander Hamilton, of course. Uh, the Red and the Black is one of my favorite pieces of literature, so I have several copies of it, actually. Um, I've got City of Girls. That was such a good novel. I really recommend that novel to anyone who likes fiction, really. It was so good. Um, a couple other comics that Alvin has. Pride of Baghdad was really sad, but really good. Um, and then the Books of Magic. This is Neil Gaiman. The second to bottom shelf, we kind of just have a, a mishmash of whatever would fit here. Uh, we got Margaret Atwood, um, I'm Thinking of Ending Things, which was a really good novel, really weird, but I liked it. Um, God is Not One, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes, Asymmetry was another good novel. Odd, but I did like it. John Fowles, The Collector, one of my favorites. The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway, more Murakami Haruki. Um, let's see, I got books from my Japanese lit class, the Genji and the Heike. Uh, Unseen City. That one, I think this is one of Alvin's. Yeah, because I haven't read this one. We have Ready Player One, which I actually just bought Ready Player Two, so I'm reading that right now. Um, and then these are some of Alvin's old books from when he was in school. He keeps them all. So we have Mind Hacks, Leviathan from Thomas Hobbes, and The Wealth of Nations. And then on the bottom is a uh, Zelda, I think just big reference book. At the very bottom shelf for this one, uh, Alvin has the entire, like, complete Calvin and Hobbes, which is really cute. Um, and then a few books of his. There's Animal Weapons, uh, Knife Engineering. We have the Dave Ramsey Total Money Makeover, but to be honest, I really don't like 
his company <laughs> or what they stand for. So that might get decluttered soon. Uh, one of my old childhood favorite books was this one. <laughs> this is the uh, Royal Diaries series. I don't know if anyone else remembered back in like elementary school. They had like big <laughs> historical people who like they would quote unquote write, write these diaries. But it was a way for kids to like learn history. I loved it. I don't know why. Like I've literally read this so many times. All the way to the right is one of Alvin's um, animal science textbooks. He did uh, want to get into veterinary science, so that's what his degree is in. Um, and then I have Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro, which, oh my god, that book tore me up. That's a good book. But keep in mind, you will cry if you read it. <laughs> Moving to the middle squat bookshelf, on the left I kind of have all of my Japanese books. Um, for those that don't know, I did take seven years of Japanese between high school and college. Um, so I've got a lot of the textbooks and stuff that I still keep. I have a um, the first Harry Potter, Harry Potter Sorcerer Stone, I have that in Japanese. And I got some dictionaries and on the bottom, um, I was actually given a gift right before I went to Japan back in 2010, uh, that cultural atlas of Japan. It's like from the, the 50s or 60s, it's really cool. And then my best friend got me the art of Howl's Moving Castle as a birthday gift one year. So I have that there. On the right, we have some of my favorites. I've got the entire um, Harry Potter box set. Uh, it's missing the first book because I actually lent that to a friend and coworker of mine, but then she ended up moving back to the UK. So I haven't seen her yet. Um, and then I have A Little Life, which, ooh, that book, such a good book. The Raw Shark Texts, odd book. I don't feel like I fully understand it, but I liked it. I've got a copy of Inferno because I love Inferno. And then Donna Tartt is actually my favorite author. I love all of her novels, um, but The Goldfinch, one of my favorites, and it's just right up there. Moving on to the next tall bookshelf. Up top, I have some of my favorite Halloween decorations. A cute little cemetery thing, some skulls, some masks. And the top shelf, I try to keep all of the light, small light books towards the top so that, you know, these wouldn't fall over. Um, so I've got the entire um, Hannibal series to the left. I've got some Shakespeare plays, The Count of Monte Cristo, Fahrenheit 451, uh, Frankenstein. I've got several um, versions of Frankenstein, one of my favorites. Um, some Ibsen plays, uh, Chinese Cinderella, My Side of the Mountain, uh, Madame Bovary, Walk Two Moons, and The Stranger. Down here, it's kind of another mishmash. And sorry if you can hear the bath running, it's actually Rex's bath day. So you might see Rex, a damp corgi, come through at some point. Um, so we've got A Gentleman in Moscow. I read that when we first really went into lockdown. And oh my god, that's such an amazing novel. I love that book so much. Um, I've got some nonfiction, Falling Leaves, The Death Class, um, some other novels that I love, Cracks and Purity. Very, very good. Um, some literature, Hamlet, Inferno, another copy of Inferno, because I love Inferno, another copy of The Red and the Black. So I've got these Norton Critical Editions. Those are my favorite, like, I'm trying to say, academic. My favorite academic versions of these are the Norton Critical Editions, because they just have really good resources in the back. And I just really like those. <laughs> so I try to get any text that I like in the Norton Critical if they have it available. Um, I've got a bear, a bear with another in love. This is actually one of the only things I have left from my mother. She passed away when I was younger. She really liked bears, so she collected these bears. <laughs> I've got two versions of Wasted, one of my favorite memoirs ever. I got Sharp Objects, uh, From Here to Eternity, The Bell Jar, a Little Sylvia Plath, another Murakami book. I should probably push all those together if I have room somewhere. The version Suicides and then The Samurai's Garden, which I actually got that um, autographed by the author back at a uh, book fair in DC. And then up here, um, we have a couple of collars. You saw the one up here as well, all the way towards the top. Those are from um, previous dogs that Alvin had, and we keep them around. Down here is kind of where the manga starts to start. Um, we've got, well, over here for the novels, we saw The Shape of Water, which is one of my favorite movies ever. Love that. Um, Convenience Store Woman, which was an interesting novel. Um, this is a really old book I found at a used bookstore. I just love ancient Greek like plays and tragedy specifically. And... Buying from a used bookstore, you find really cool stuff like this. Like someone gave this like as a gift to somebody in 1914. That's what it says. 1914. How cool is that? I just, I love used books. I love um, academic textbooks and books. So that's just really cool. Um, and then I have a copy of Battle Royale, which that took me forever to find. I don't know why I couldn't buy it online. I had to find it in a used bookstore down in Virginia, but love that novel. Okay, so over here are kind of um, most of my manga are going to be the first two shelves down here. So this is um, the first five volumes of Black Butler in Japanese. I actually bought these when I was in Japan a few years ago. 
So I've got those. <laughs> I've got The World's Greatest First Love, um, one in Japanese and one in English. And then I've got Waltakoi. I love this. The Love is Hard for Otaku. This is so cute. Um, there's only four out. I think the fifth one or the fifth volume comes out sometime this year. Um, and I think an OVA just came out for the for the anime. So I love that. <laughs> and then this is just really cute. I like Cheese Sweet Home. It's adorable. I think there's a few more volumes of it, but that's just what I have so far. So down here is a mix of Alvin and I's manga. So all the Death Notes are mine. Uh, he actually got me this big brick. This is the entirety of Death Note in one volume, which is bananas. But that was a gift he got me uh, our first or second Christmas together. Um, so those are all to the Death Note that we have. And then he's got some Sergeant Frog and some old Bleach from middle school. <laughs> um, and then the Marvel, uh, the wonderful Wizard of Oz. All right, moving down is where I go a little bit out of my depth because I'm not really super into like the actual comics behind Marvel. <laughs> so he's got a bunch of Marvel comics down here, some Wolverine. It's mainly a uh, Hellblazer though. So you'll see, scroll, scoot down. He's got every volume of Hellblazer, which is uh, the John Constantine one. He loves John Constantine. So he's got all 24 that's currently out, I think. I think he pre-ordered the 25th, but that's what we've got there. And then he's got, let me see, some Batman. Guardians of the Galaxy, and that's about it. Yeah, I just, I, my personal favorite is Wolverine. I've got a soft spot for Wolverine and Hugh Jackman specifically. <laughs> okay, moving over to the final squat bookshelf. On the left, those are actually all of our DVDs. We don't really have too many so far. We basically just have um, like Tokyo Godfathers, uh, Death Note on DVD, uh, Logan, the movie, Detective Pikachu, <laughs> Phantom of the Opera, and the collections of Hayao Miyazaki. Um, we are going to get some more DVDs as we go, so we, we're leaving that open just to be like our little DVD bookshelf. And then on the right, I have a couple of my favorite... These are mainly novels. Yeah, so I've got the Ugly series. I love those four books so much. Uh, Middlesex, um, another version of Frankenstein. That's actually the Norton Critical. I should probably move that to be the next to the other Norton Critical editions. Um, another version of Frankenstein. Uh, Romantic Outlaws. Um, Amanda Knox's bi autobiography or memoir. Voltaire's Candide. Um, Elizabeth Gilbert's The Signature of All Things. That's, that's another really, really great novel. Just that one was really, really good. Um, and then the Design the Life You Love is actually kind of like a workbook. And that was actually a, um, a workshop I got to sit in. And so the author was able to dedicate the book to me. And it's actually really cute. Let me pull out how she wrote my name. Yeah, see? Really cute. So she signed it. Um, but it's a really cute workbook that I've been putting off using because I don't want to like use it all up and then not have it. <laughs> so I've got that. And I think that's a wrap for everything on this side of the bookshelf. So on the back side of the bookshelf, we have some just some more decorations. So I've got some squishies. I've got that cute sun-activated lucky cat. Um, over here, I just have command hooks all up in this container. And then we have all of our candles I keep stored behind the books on the other shelf. So over here on the left, I have some mainly non-fiction. Um, I've got some this cute little set I got at a used bookstore, which is the world's greatest thinkers little set. Um, I've got The God Delusion, The Happy Atheist, Another Mother Tongue, Why Buddhism is True, um, Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine. It's such an amazing novel. I loved that. My best friend got me to read it and I loved it. Um, and then some Neil Gaiman that's Neverwhere. And last but not least, we have this little bookshelf, which really is no rhyme or reason to it. I've got uh, books like The Purity Myth. I've got The Princess of Cleves, another Norton Critical Edition. I love those Norton Critical Editions. Um, I've got another Murakami novel. That's Kafka on the Shore. I've got Beckett's Endgame play script. Um, I've got some Sophocles plays over there. I've got another copy of Red and the Black. That one's a bit more beat up though. And then over here I've got French Twists, which is uh, another novel that I just really like. Um, I've got Ruth Bader Ginsburg's In My Own Words. I just finished reading that actually. Um, I really liked it. Um, I've got the selected works, not the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe. Eventually I do want to get his full collected works and a really nice printed set. Um, and then I've got the final Murakami novel in the collection, which is a 1Q84, um, which really great novel. Thing is huge though, <laughs> but I really liked it as well. All right, so that is everything for the updated bookshelf tour. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below if you have any of these books and which one's your favorite. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. He is free. <laughs> He's got such a nice hourglass figure when he's wet. Yeah.
then his hair becomes... There he goes. Shaky shakies. Okay. Say bye.